The FEMA Belt Tunnel, picture a journey where the impossible becomes possible. Where the depths of the sea no longer signify separation, but a new kind of connection. In the realm of engineering and innovation, a project is underway that challenges the very limits of construction and design. It's a venture that spans nations, cultures, and economies, aiming to shorten distances and bring distant neighbors a step closer. Imagine reducing a journey that once took hours to just seven minutes, bypassing the vast waters that have divided them for centuries. This isn't just imagination, it's the reality being forged by the FEMA Belt Tunnel. But what does it take to turn this bold vision into reality? And at what cost? Let's peel back the layers of this colossal endeavor. Discussions about a fixed link between Germany and Denmark began as early as the late 20th century. The idea stemmed from the desire to enhance transportation efficiency and connectivity in the region, particularly for both passenger and freight traffic. You see, since 1963, the German island of Fiemen has been linked to the mainland by the Fiemen Sound Bridge. Before that, there was only a regular ferry service to the Danish island of Lollen, across the strait. So, obviously with the growing population and the needs of the people, everyone started talking about building a fixed link across the water. By the late 1990s, studies have looked into building a bridge. The idea was to have a bridge with four lanes for cars and two tracks for trains. This plan seemed the most likely for a while, and detailed plans were made. This bridge, termed the Fiemen Belt Bridge, was supposed to be finished by 2018. But then the deadlock came. In late 2010, after more studies, the Danish planners decided that an immersed tunnel would be better. It would have fewer risks during construction and cost about the same. So, the idea of an immersed tunnel started gaining currency. A high moment came when the people of Denmark and the Danish parliament gave the green signal and preferred a tunnel over a bridge. As a result, it was decided to go ahead. Just when the vision seemed within reach, economic hurdles threatened to shroud the dream in darkness. The German government announced to stop the project until 2015, citing economic reasons. It appeared as if the magnificent idea of this revolutionary project might be a pipe dream. Yet the unwavering spirit of innovation refused to dim. Finally, after years of planning and preparation, the Fiemen Belt Fixed Link, more commonly known as the Fiemen Belt Tunnel, began construction in 2020. Discover how adversity was turned into advantage, propelling the project into a new dawn. The tunnel, stretching 18 kilometers in length, ranks among Europe's most massive infrastructure endeavors. With a staggering construction budget exceeding 7 billion euros, the Fiemen Belt Tunnel will connect the Danish island of Lalland to Germany via the island of Fiemen. As part of the European Union's Trans-European Transport Network Policy, this initiative aims to enhance connectivity across Europe, reducing travel time and improving logistics for the transportation of goods. By significantly lowering transportation costs, especially for industries like petroleum, fish, paper, and machinery, the tunnel will benefit both producers and consumers in the Scandinavian region. Furthermore, it will decrease prices for machinery, dairy products, grain, meat, and metals. Funded heavily by the European Union and participating countries, the tunnel is a priority project. It will eliminate the need for freight trains from Sweden, Norway, and Denmark to take a lengthy detour across the Danish mainland, reducing travel time from 5 hours to about 7 minutes. The current reliance on ferries for transportation across the Ferrum Belt results in time-consuming loading and unloading processes. The tunnel will alleviate this issue and provide faster mobility options between Scandinavia and Central Europe. Expected to be completed by 2029, the Ferrum Belt Tunnel will feature a four-lane highway and a double-track railway, consisting of five separate subtunnels at a depth of 40 meters below the Baltic Sea. It will significantly improve transportation efficiency and connectivity within Europe. But as far as the construction goes, let me take you through the fascinating process of how this tunnel will come to life. It's going to be quite a marvel. First off, the tunnel will be constructed using the immersed tunnel method. This means building the tunnel sections on land, transporting them to the construction site, and then sinking them into a pre-dug trench on the seabed. Each of these tunnel sections will be impressive in size, measuring 217 meters in length, 42 meters in width, and standing 8 meters high, weighing about 73,000 tons. 
Imagine these giant sections of tunnel, each of a behemoth of engineering, delicately danced across the seabed. This process isn't just construction, it's a ballot of precision and power, a testament to human ingenuity. A total of 79 of these sections will be made, each carefully crafted in production lines before being moved to dry docks. Here, they're sealed to keep water out, then floated to the designated spots along the trench. Once in place, precision is key, with the sections positioned just 15 millimeters apart. This meticulousness ensures the tunnel's longevity, aiming for a lifespan of at least 120 years. Hydraulic equipment then pulls the sections together, squashing specialized gaskets between them to form a watertight seal. This technique holds the sections securely, akin to an old-fashioned suction cup. With all sections connected, the temporary barriers are removed, paving the way for technical installations such as railroads, lights, ventilation, and wiring. After these final touches, it's just a matter of formalities before the tunnel opens to the public. Quite an engineering feature, isn't it? The construction of the FEMA Belt Tunnel isn't just about connecting regions, it's also about creating opportunities. Thousands of jobs are being generated, both directly on the construction site and in supporting industries throughout the region. The factory producing the tunnel elements is currently the largest of its kind in the world. But amidst this monumental project, there's a shadow that looms, one that intersects with our global fight against climate change. Let's explore the brighter side first. Many believe that the FEMA Bell Tunnel could positively impact the environment by offering a faster and more efficient route for road and rail transport. It's anticipated that the tunnel will lead to a reduction in air traffic between Denmark and Germany. This shift aligns with the growing movement in Europe against short flights, which have a disproportionately large carbon footprint compared to longer flights. Yet there's another aspect to consider. In the shadow of progress, environmental concerns whisper. Can the marvel of engineering coexist with the delicate balance of nature? Let's dive into the heart of this dilemma. Residents near the FEMA belt have expressed concerns about potential environmental impacts. Specifically, they worry about the dredging activities associated with the tunnel's construction, fearing disruption to the seabed's delicate ecosystem. However, investigations conducted by FEMA AS, the project's overseeing company, suggest that these concerns may be unfounded. Rigorous measures are being taken to minimize disturbances to marine life during construction. Additionally, communities on mainland Denmark and Baltic Sea islands have voiced their apprehensions. They fear that once the tunnel is operational, their areas will be bypassed disrupting traditional ways of life and social structures. While the FEMA Belt Tunnel brings promise, it also prompts reflection on the balance between progress and environmental responsibility, as well as the preservation of community and tradition. On top of that, some argue that the project could be economically unsound. Predictions for passenger and freight traffic may have been overly optimistic, raising concerns about the potential inability to recoup the investment. The European Court of Auditors has also criticized the planning of the German land connection for allowing costs to escalate unchecked. The current costs exceed twice the amount that would have been incurred if the originally decided speed limit of 160 km per hour had been endured to, as per legal requirements. Additionally, local lobbyists have influenced decisions regarding realignment and additional noise protection measures. Nevertheless, while the project may not boast the towering heights of landmarks like the Burj Khalifa or the Jeddah Tower in Saudi Arabia, it holds its own significance within Europe. Environmental concerns are acknowledged, proactive eco-friendly policies, and the use of sustainable construction materials can help mitigate these issues. There have been grievances from Swedish politicians regarding lengthy train journeys between Sweden and Germany, particularly due to the absence of overnight trains. This has hindered travel options, such as the route from Stockholm to Brussels, which requires an overnight stay in a hotel along the way. The FEMA Belt Fixed Link promises to address these challenges by significantly reducing travel times, potentially enabling journeys between Copenhagen and Hamburg in just two and a half hours. As we stand on the brink of completing the FEMA Belt Tunnel, we're not just witnessing the birth of a tunnel, but the forging of a future. What legacy would this leave for Europe and the world? Share your thoughts below. Thanks for watching. Explore more with us about world engineering marvels in our upcoming videos. See you then.